This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. Ugh, what a smell! It reeks of tobacco. This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. This dis This is what Holmes was wearing yesterday. Holmes has left his tweed suit here. So, he came back to change after he left me in front of Judge Beckett's house, just after the explosion. Knowing that Scotland Yard is looking for him, he will likely have changed into one of his disguises. I just need to know which one. The best thing to do is proceed by elimination. I will use the wardrobe in the sitting room to reconstruct them. This is what... This is what Holmes... Holmes's Tobacco. Holmes's Victoria Cross. A letter addressed to Zachariah Dossett, the clergyman. But what is that doing here? It's a rent reminder. But why should Holmes be concerned about that? Another letter. This one for a certain Escott. Who could that be? This J. Escott must be a worker in the building. A letter addressed to a clerk of the court. Why in heaven's name has Holmes got that? This letter is addressed to a naval captain. My goodness! All these carefully hidden envelopes were addressed to Holmes under various identities. The addresses are therefore those of his hiding places. Holmes has never told me about them. I suppose that he goes there regularly and discreetly to pick up his mail. I cannot waste precious time by going to each of these addresses. I must refine my research. A photo of Irene Adler, the woman, according to Holmes. This bust was used to fool Colonel Moran during the case of the empty house. I must collect all the pieces of Holmes's disguises and assemble them in the wardrobe in the sitting room. Aha! Toby, who knows where Holmes is?
It seems that something in this disguise is missing, but I'm not sure what it might be. There, the entire outfit. There, the entire outfit. Perfect. Now I know what Holmes looks like, and I know where to search for him. Let me take a look at the map. It would be better if I took some money before leaving. One can buy a lot of things with notes in Whitechapel. Baines's men have more or less spared my bedroom. How kind of them. Uh, my, my money! Someone has emptied my wallet! I always keep a little money in it. The police can't have stolen it. It's impossible. Last night I was too tired to think, but now I have to face the truth. Holmes stole my money like any common low-down scoundrel. Good. I've got the address of Holmes's hideout. Six bucks row. Well, here it is. It looks like a boarding house. I can't knock on all the doors. Holmes will hear me and escape. As I've the advantage of surprise, I'd better use it. Oh, but I know you. You with the moustache. I met you back when Jack was cutting up all those girls around here. So you've come back to do some slumming. Danny, you are no longer, um, uh, I mean, you've given up the, uh... The game? Yes, my dear, I've given it up. Sorry, are you? I'm the manager of this boarding house now. I rent out rooms. Uh, that is exactly why I am here. I'm looking for someone who... He's not here. You don't even know who I'm talking about. Perhaps not, but he's not here anyway. You should understand that my tenants come here for peace and quiet. Quiet and discreet, my hotel is. Just like me. And I, Danny the Anvil, 11 times champion of male wrestling in Whitechapel, I guarantee their peace and quiet. I really must insist. It's very important. Dear lady, I'm a biographer and also an artist. Your hotel is quite exceptional. I would like to put it on canvas and perhaps write about its history, which I'm sure must be fascinating. If you're drunk, you better go and sober up somewhere else. 
You are so very unique. I would like you to permit me to sketch your portrait. My port? Portrait? What for? What for? But to immortalise the champion that you are, of course. All the great wrestlers are doing it these days. Even Pudding, Nutcracker, Stomping Jenny. Yeah, that's true. If those big cows can have theirs done, why not me? The light here isn't good for artwork. Let me see some of your rooms. Perhaps we will find a better light, without disturbing your tenants, of course. Don't worry about that. Most of them are out this time of day. And if they're not happy about it, I'll explain it to them gently, if you see what I mean. I'm sure that they will understand at once. Yeah, come on then. Here would be perfect. A splendid place. Ah, I've just had a wonderful idea. Why don't I paint your portrait with you wearing your stage costume? What? Yes, I think it would be difficult for me to capture you correctly if you are dressed in your everyday clothes. They are too... elegant. Yeah, all right. I'm going to be great. And it will remind me of the old days. Oh, but I left my costume with a pawnbroker so that I could buy some of that lovely pear-smelling perfume. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Very well, off you go. While I'm waiting, I shall concentrate and soak up the atmosphere here. All right, but don't touch anything. The bloke that rents this room isn't very easy going. You'll have enough time. The pawnbroker's shop isn't close by. What a mess. <laughs> That's Holmes all right. A sheet of blotting paper. Tobacco, and a lot of it. A few files, books about criminal cases. The books Holmes usually reads. A microscope. Analyzing material. There is no doubt about it. Everything would suggest that Holmes has been using this hiding place for a long time. Liquid reagents, a large quantity of it, the same as at Baker Street. Holmes uses it for cleaning objects before he analyses them. A pipe, and judging by the smell, Holmes has used it recently. Holmes's coat and deer stalker. Dirty water. Holmes must have washed something here. These crystal glasses are magnificent. A violin. Holmes often plays. It helps him to think. But it's out of tune and the sound is horrible. Holmes must have become annoyed with it. That happens quite often. Each of these scores bears a piece of music by a different composer. Holmes wanted to learn them all. There's Mozart, Beethoven, Paganini... A nice plant. I'm surprised that Holmes has taken care of it. I'm discovering new sides to his personality. This pot is empty. This suitcase is closed with handcuffs, which in turn are attached to the sofa. It's impossible to force the suitcase. It's armoured. These handcuffs are extremely solid. You need a code as well as a key to open them. Something. Apparently, 
This suitcase holds something which Holmes believes to be important. I must open it. It could be the chance to find out the truth about his intentions. Apparently, Holmes is packing his suitcase. A nice plant. I'm surprised. A violin. Holmes must have smoked his pipe while reading the newspaper. A pipe. As for the newspaper, it's only one page, with a curious article containing musical notes. This is what Holmes was reading without any doubt. Why? What do these notes mean? These crystal glasses might help me reproduce the notes in the newspaper. I know that music. It's Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. There, I found the score corresponding to Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. There is a strange stain on it. I must examine this stain more closely. This stain hides an inscription. It wasn't there by any accident. I need a reagent for cleaning the stain. Liquid reagents, a large quantity of it, the same as at Baker Street. Holmes uses it for cleaning objects before he analyzes them. This stain, I need a reagent for... This reagent is too strong. I'm afraid it will eat the paper away at the same time as the stain. I'll have to dilute it with water. Good. The reagent is weaker now. Earth. Holmes must have washed his hands here. Therefore, he must have been searching in the soil. In this flat. But where? I'll have to clean all this up now. I need something. A sheet of blotting paper. A number. A num a number. There's soil here. Let's do the same as Holmes. Search. A key. These handcuffs are extremely solid. You need a code as well. Something is... Excellent. I've found the key to the handcuffs. Open. 
a train ticket for the London suburbs. For tonight! But if Holmes wishes to escape, surely he would travel further than that. Ah, there you are. I've got you. Hey, what do you want? That's enough. Take off that disguise. What disguise? I beg your pardon, young man. In a moment, madam. Stop playing around. I've seen through you. You're going to have to give me some straight answers now. I don't know who you are or what you want, but leave me alone now. I think you are mistaken, young man. Your ridiculous accent and your filthy clothes don't fool me, Holmes. And what on earth have you been eating? Your breath could kill an ox at ten paces. Right, that's it. You've got to get a thrashing of your life. Calm down, Mr Hooper. I think that this young man may have mistaken you for somebody else. He obviously does not have a good memory for faces. On the contrary, madam. Everything is crystal clear to me. Really? Well, in that case, follow me, young man. I want to show you something. What? But, madam, please, wh what are you... Calm down, Watson. It's me. Holmes? You were almost brilliant, Watson, but once again your last step was too wide. Take comfort in the fact that your finding this address was admirable enough. Why are you out here if it's not for hiding from Scotland Yard? I demand an explanation. You are in no position to demand anything. I found you once, Holmes. You can be certain that if you give me the slip, I'll do it again, and next time I'll return with Baines and his men. I have absolutely no intention of leaving. Truly? So what does this train ticket mean? It's a ticket for this evening. You... you managed to open my suitcase? Enough of your lies, Holmes. As a matter of fact, then yes. I am leaving tonight. We are leaving tonight. I'm not going to let you vanish again. Very well. Follow me, if you so wish. But I should warn you that there is little chance of us both coming back alive. I won't leave you for a second. And I accept the risk. What an exhausting journey. I didn't even have time to collect my medical bag. And you haven't said a word for hours. I have been thinking. What is this place? A mill. I can see that. But what are we going to do here? It will be more interesting to see what you are going to do. I won't bend to your will any more, Holmes. You have gone too far. Shh, Watson. Not so loud. Why? Does somebody live here? Yes. Three men. Take out your revolver and try to keep them below while I search upstairs. Are they dangerous? They would kill us if they could. I'm going up there. Take care of them and make sure that they do not leave the ground floor. Holmes! Wait! <laughs> 